Well, hello again and welcome to this um, watercolour video. Um, in this series, I'm looking at the basics uh, from the beginner's point of view. Now, before we begin, there are all kinds of paper, all kinds of paint and all kinds of brushes. The main thing to understand is that each of those paints, papers and brushes are designed with the artist in mind especially in terms of watercolour. Now, for watercolour, you need to make sure that you've got the right paper to do the job. It needs to be a watercolour paper. If this one's a Bockingford watercolour paper, it's quite a good beginner's kind of paper and lots of uh, artists prefer it as they become more experienced. So. Buckingford is a great watercolour paper, you can get it in pads. The main thing is to remember that you always want it at least £140 or 300 DSM. That's the weight of the paper. If you have it in weights that are lighter than that, you're going to get lots of issues with the paper buckling. Buckling is when you put paint and over, over water it and it just starts to buckle up. So remember, first tip then, make sure it's at least 140 pound or 300 GSM weight. From there, we start to look at um, the difference in terms of paper surfaces. Uh, the one I've got here is quite a rough paper underneath. This is a rather large pad of arches. And um, this one is the Bockingford, and this is a knot paper. So you've got rough and you've got knot, which is sometimes called cold press. You really need to be buying just a few sheets really of each to see what suits your style, I would say. For my style, the types of papers I like are ones that are very absorbent. I normally use a Watman paper that's um, very hard to get now because it kind of ran out of manufacture a few years ago. Or a Saunders Waterford, the rough or the knot. I find both of those suit my style, but my style is painting with large brushes. So let's move on to brushes then. So some things to think about when you're buying brushes is you always want to buy just probably three brushes, really good quality. I've seen lots of videos on YouTube saying buy this, buy this, buy this. No, just keep your equipment. This is the biggest tip for beginners. Keep your equipment to the bare minimum. So if you choose a paper, like a Buckingford, stick with it, okay? If you buy some brushes, this one's kind of a medium-sized mop brush, but um, the hairs on this are very absorbent in terms of liquid. Um, if you buy a kind of round, what they call a round brush, they're not actually round, they look like this. Uh, lots of these types of brushes, you can either buy them synthetic or you can buy them with the sable hair. This one has sable hair in it. Sable tends to hold more liquid. This is also this is a squirrel mop, and this holds a lot of liquid. And this one's um, also natural hair. I also have synthetic brushes, and I prefer the Escoda synthetics. And here's a couple here. This one's a number six brush. Got a nice what they call point on it and spring to it, which is quite useful in the bristles. This one's a number two, much smaller, good for finer detail. I find these four brushes are perfect. So you want a larger brush. You don't have to necessarily go for a squirrel mop. If you've got a, uh, you need to look after the pennies, as we all do, you could go for a larger kind of flat brush. Any of these types would do. You can go even bigger on the flat brushes. So I'll show you again. You can get one inch, three quarter inches and so on. But these flat brushes are quite useful um, if you want to cover lots of paper quickly, okay? main thing is to stick so if you bought this brush which is for covering lots of paper this brush and say this brush stick with them okay don't change I think I've made that point quite clear not many people seem to make that point I will go with this brush this brush and these four brushes these would be these would be my choice um, this to cover lots this to actually come in and it covers quite a lot, but it's great for sort of detail as well in terms of sort of distances. I paint landscapes mainly. 
uh, cityscapes and then this one for four, more fine detail and this one for even finer detail. Just stick with the four and you'll be okay.